comes, all right? Mrs. Harris, what would I do without you? Mrs. Harris is the soul of discretion. One would never know she'd been but for the polish on my knobs. That's what we are, Vi, the invisible women. Kiss me once, kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. Isn't it divine? 500 pounds. 500 quid for a dress? When I put it on, nothing else matters. My Eddie would love to see me in a Dior gown. War's been over a long time. Your Eddie's never coming back. Nothing wrong with dreaming, Eddie. That's what you are. You're a dreamer. You should have been receiving a war widow's pension. It comes quite a tidy sum. Oh, it's my Eddie. It's a sign from my angel. What are you going to do? I'm going to buy a dress. A Christian Dior from Paris. Paris. Ni ses départs, ni ses navires. Excuse me, dear. I'm after a frock. One of them 500 pound ones. You have the wrong dress. Please let me escort you out. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. I've saved every penny scrubbing floor so I can buy this frock. Excuse me, but it would be my honor to have you view the collection as my guest. Ni tout cela, ni rien au monde. Oh, that's lovely. A jaw dress is designed to astonish. How will you do that, Mrs. Harris? You are nobody. Invisible. Madame, may I give you a lift? What was I thinking coming here? I'm just a cleaner from London. No, you're a cleaner who dreams of the most beautiful gown in the world. It's not sewing. It's making moonlight. You dare to follow your dreams, Mrs. Harris. Bravo. This is not possible. Not at all. Where are you going, Mrs. Harris? To see the boss. Mrs. Harris, these are for you, from Monsieur Le Marquis. I've spent too long on my own wishing my life away. You don't want to do the same thing. This is your chance. I have never encountered anyone like you. Come on, girls, follow me. Today, there's a new woman, a modern woman. I thought it was too late. Now, I'm not so sure. Who's that bloke? Looks the master himself, Monsieur Dior. He looks like my milkman. <laughs> <laughs>